This is a big day for our students, for their families, and for um, our whole CPS family. Nearly year-long closure and a long battle with the teachers' union, tens of thousands of Chicago public school students return to the classroom today. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Lourdes Duarte, but a lot of parents are happy today, mm -hmm. right? WGN's political reporter, Taman Bradley, was on the north side, and he's got more. For tens of thousands of CPS kindergarten through fifth graders, school was back open today for in-person learning. Felt great. She's been excited all week and she's really happy to see some of her friends that she's been seeing on Zoom all, all year and so it's a big day for her. Some parents, worried about the reopening, said they would take part in a sick out as protest. But Sharon Bosto said she feels fine having her kid back. We're super confident that things will go smoothly. I think CPS has put a lot of good things in place. At Hawthorne Scholastic Academy in Lakeview, Mayor Lightfoot and CPS CEO Janice Jackson marked the occasion. Seeing kids back in school for the first time after a year is something that warms my heart. Driving here this morning, I saw young kids skipping ahead of their parents with excitement about coming back to school. And, and that really got me going. The mayor says the district spent $100 million to get classrooms ready for students' return, and vaccines have been offered to thousands of employees. It was not easy to make today a reality. There were multiple delays in plans and a fight over health and safety with the Chicago Teachers Union. The union trolled the mayor and CPS CEO Jackson on Twitter. The mayor and CPS leadership really need to stop staging these photo ops in classrooms with students. It's unnecessary and extremely disruptive, especially as students and staff are trying to have a smooth transition to in-person instruction, the CTU account said. Pushing back, the mayor says reopening is about giving kids who are falling behind an opportunity. This isn't a struggle between two sides. This is a struggle for the fate of our children.